cool. Hello, you're waiting for me. That's so sweet. Hello, everyone. Hello, Monica. Hello, Deborah. Yes, so good to have you here. And you were waiting for me. I, um, I just wanted to try and get everything together. And um, so let me just say, welcome everyone to Catherine's Garden and Home, where we grow, 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 grow together. I hope I'm looking in the camera. Yes, let, there we go. Yeah, I hope that all is well with you all. I hope that you're doing well. I hope that your garden is growing well. And I hope that things are going well for you. Um, I'm out here. It's a beautiful day here in the New England area. The sun is shining, but it's not going to be shining for long because I was looking at the forecast and it says that there's going to be rain coming. Rain around starting at around 6 p.m. And then for the next couple of hours or, or more. And that is so great because it is very, very dry here. Um, after that last uh, rainstorm that we had, it hasn't rained. And it's time, it's due. It's due a rain. We need some rain. Come rain, come. So I am very happy for that. So I'm glad that you're here early. And um, I know that I have been starting to come a little early uh, because of the cold, but now it's because of the rain. And uh, Monica says, hi, Catherine, I'm here. How are you doing? Well, I pray I'm doing well, Miss Catherine. Hi to all who end the chat. Yay, thank you, Monica, Monica, for holding up. Yes, being there for me in the chat while I was scrambling around trying to get everything done. Thanks, yes, we should need this, the rain so dry yes monica thank you and deborah waiting for the live hello monica yes deborah deborah thank you for sharing those pictures uh the pictures of your um your miniature roses how inspiring that was great um i tried to separate them to show both of them but for some reason every time i pressed it they both came out together uh, but yes, thank you so much for your picture. That was so encouraging. It made me want to go out and look and see if my miniature rose is blooming too. And you know what? Um, this year, for me, as far as my roses, because many of the roses, the rose uh, that I have died back, I um, am so thankful that they are actually growing back. Many of them are returning and I can see rose stalks, shoots, stems coming up, branches coming up, yay! <laughs> and I see some of them have um, buds at the end. But what I'm also seeing is a lot of aphids. I don't know if you are experiencing aphids in your garden, but yeah, I have had to um, spray and also I go through and just kind of remove them with my finger just real gently at the tips there. Um, but I've also seen a lot of, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> I see a lot of ladybugs, ladybugs, ladybugs. There's a lot of dust in the air and a lot of pollen also. <coughs> so all of a sudden I'm starting to cough. So excuse me, I'm sorry about that. <coughs> but um, yeah, um, things are coming back at least I'm starting to see some return <coughs> excuse me one minute I'm gonna get some water because something is very dry so Monica hold up the chat you and, and Deborah let them know I'm coming back I'll be right back <laughs>
thank you. I don't know what happened, but some dust got into my throat. That is so much better. All right, so it's so good to have you all. And thank you for the thumbs up. Thank you for your patience. And uh, as we continue to greet one another, yes, 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 it was expected. Rain, yes. Uh, Deborah says, I am having I am having fun growing flowers in my garden. I'm catching great sales and clearance sales. That's good. I had an I had aphids on my tomato plants and washed them off with the water hose. Good, good, good. That's wonderful, Deborah. Yeah, and um Deborah, you had sent me some pictures too of, of your um your <clears throat> sales from Walmart and um I didn't get, get it done, but yeah, since then I have been also, I'm sure that they, they're out now. The annuals are out. And uh, how's your garden coming along, Monica? Yeah, how, how are things coming along for you? I know you've been hard at work in the garden. Every time you've been saying, well, I got to get out to my garden. <laughs> so I hope things are going well for you in your garden. I hope things are going well. Um, yeah, so I have been actually looking back to at my my journal uh, moments to dream again the intentional garden journal and just trying to see um, what and where I am it's doing well I'm so excited that's good Monica make sure you send me pictures so we can share it with the community what you're doing as well um, but I've been looking at my intentional gardening journal and just reviewing and seeing well what have i done already what do i need to do next and just trying to keep that as my focus and so we've been really focusing on um, the herbal kitchen garden and uh, getting that together it's done now oh that's good that's good that's good congratulations monica Woo it's so good when you, you plan something and you get it done yeah so I've been working on my front jewel garden a lot and adding um, annuals to it and also sowing seeds, sowing annual seeds. So um, that has been uh, something that I've been working on myself. And just because we had spent the time in the beginning of the year to look through the journal and to write down intentionally what I wanted to get, it has helped to keep me focused. Even though I'm not looking at the journal every five minutes, but um, it's it's a good reference because what I've been able to do is just look at well, what are my priorities for the garden this year, and I put down plant more flowers for floral arrangements, and that has really helped. I plant herbs to use in cooking and for making teas, propagating more of the plants I love in other parts of the garden hydrangeas, figs, perennials, plant seeds that I have gathered and um, also to grow more, especially uh, focusing in on the vegetable garden, the herbal garden and the cut flower garden. So today I just wanted to look at it some more in the uh, area of the cut flowers and the floral and annuals. And um, I have been seeding a lot of zinnias I have like a couple of trays of zinnia seeds that I've decided to seed versus just um, broadcast on the ground which I've been doing too I've also been sowing uh, zinnia seeds throughout the um, the garden uh, and I see them coming up now it is actually warm enough for the seeds to come up and sprout on their own isn't that interesting it's so good to see that happening and um, I, I'm looking at them right now it's just wonderful I also have been seeding my pumpkins the pumpkin seeds so if I sent you pumpkin seeds um, put them spot you know plant them out now put them in the garden or put them in um, some dirt some soil and get them started and it's really great I've been um, planting some out but I also can see them too here in the tray and it's it's just it's exciting because i know that uh, the effort that i put in now is going to pay off later on so the uh, the flower garden 
um, there are the marigolds and the petunias, the begonias, and uh, all of those other wonderful plants that are available now. So I just thought it would be good for us to look at what um, people are saying, what's trending in terms of annuals. Good evening, Miss Catherine and gardening friends. Hey, Bev, how are you? Bev, I put my hair out just for you, just for you, Bev, because I said, wow, I haven't worn my hair out for a while. Um, and I was gonna pull it back and I didn't like it. It, it, it didn't feel right. And it, but when I, when I combed it out, it just, it just felt bushy and it's growing. Bev, look at that. It's growing. Look at the length. <laughs> I see this called Persian carpet or up to good Monica. Yeah. So this is, this is a tribute to you, Bev. You're my inspiration to wear my hair out and to feel, feel my hair, feel the joy. And this day is just so beautiful here in the garden that it is just, it's not too humid. The wind is not blowing that much. So everything can stay in place. So, <laughs> Tell me some of your hair. <laughs> Oh, family is so sweet. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, it's wonderful. But anyway, you are my inspiration as, we're my, we, as far as my hair is concerned. But yes, also, so Beverly, what? Um, hi, Gardens Are Me. I'm talking to Gardens Are Me. And uh, Bev, what are some of the annuals that you're growing, that you're growing in your garden? I was looking at the proven winner's site for um, for this year, but also um, they have here in Guardian Design, they have the 2023 20, National Plants of the Year. And it seems like a lot of these plants are proven winner plants. Um, and um, let me see if I can make it larger. They have here the Truffola truff, Pink Globe Amaranth here. And this is what it looks like with proven winners. I've never grown that before, but it looks interesting. Let me see if I can zoom it out. Here it is. That's what it looks like. Yeah, and that, that looks good. Um, I, it almost looks like to me like an, um, like a chive, you know, a chive blossom with that, that bunch there. Let's see. And uh, it, this is it with another, they're showing you the combination that you can have with it. Isn't that pretty? Last week we talked about color com combinations. Isn't that a pretty combination? My garden kind of looks like this, this right now at this time, because I have like the, the alliums, then I have yellow flowers from the, um, it's, it's a, a shade plant that has yellow flowers like that. And, um, but that combination there, I think that's very cute. And that's something that you can do with annuals. Annuals are really good for uh, creating color and color throughout the year because they're an annual. There's something that when you put it in, it gives you instant color. It flowers um, continually, especially if you fertilize it, keep it well watered, and you can have color for the whole year. Um, but it says, uh, um, Gomfrina has a perfectly balanced habit that shows off a plethora of hot pink flowers. It has performed very well in hot, humid climates where it blooms all season long. It is an ideal cut flower with long vase life. Yeah. So if you're planning on uh, creating that cut flower garden, 
gumfrina uh, would be a good plant to add to your your mix and this is another a perennial of the year dulcy wild berry coral bells um, let me show you this this is a perennial <coughs> even though I was looking for the annuals but I'll show you this too and this color seems to be very popular this year in the garden that kind of deep purple you can get this color in your garden with basil with purple perella seeds um, I have purple perella that comes into my um, that reseeds every year I mean it just helps itself and it's this color and this color um, um, is um, really good for the garden because it just adds that um, pop of color it offsets the the green yeah hey G mama grows how are you sweetie so good to have you come with and join us today yeah I highlighted you because of your strawberries it reminded me of um, the fact that I had wanted to fill this container with strawberries um, and I saw the strawberries too I almost bought myself a bunch of strawberries instead I backed out and I bought annuals instead so that's why I'm talking about annuals and not strawberries <laughs> but it's so good to have you with us we do miss you um, yeah so let me see and then they have the landscape shrub of the year which is purple pillar rose of Sharon um, hibiscus the rose of Sharon so this it seems like this color is, as I said is very popular because look at this this is the rose of Sharon I know it's not an um, annual but it's a shrub um, and yet you can see the colors here this is a perennial shrub of the year and that color scheme seems to be be very popular the purples and um, so when you're buying your bedding plants you could look for a petunias that would actually be this color and uh, just arranging your gardening designs when you're putting things together <clears throat> Um, let me see what else yeah so I just wanted to show you that that I know it's this is not the annuals but the 2023 national plants of the year uh, they have the annual of the year is the truffle pink global amaranth amaranth the gumfrina <clears throat> that I showed you then the perennial of the year is the wild berry coral bell. Let me just show you so you can see what I'm talking about there. And um, then the landscape shrub is the Rose of Sharon, <coughs> which I showed you. It's the Rose of Sharon. And then the host of the year is Empress Wu. Now I would love to get Empress Wu. Wu as a, um, a for a hosta and you know that my garden is a hosta garden hello Sonia how are you <clears throat> you almost got some um, coral bells oh wow um, G mama yeah I love this Empress Wu hosta look how big it is could you imagine that? <clears throat> and I know it will do well in my garden because my garden is a part shade and wouldn't that be an accent plant to have? Isn't that nice? And then you can see at the bottom sheet, they have at uh, the foot of it, those annuals there. You see that? the annuals <clears throat> that is something I'd definitely be interested in getting 
And then the rose of the year. The rose of the year is Ringo All-Star Rose. And uh, these are all proven winter plants. I'm missing the conversation. Okay, let me go back and look at what you all are saying. <clears throat> um, yeah, so Monica says, my zinnia called Parisian carpet are up too. Oh, that's good, Monica. Send me some of you here, says <laughs> Beverly. <laughs> Gardens are me. Deborah is greeting everybody, Monica. Uh, <clears throat> Deborah says, I enjoy being outside today. It wasn't too cold or hot. It was just right. Yeah. Um, yesterday I spent almost all day in the garden. I just, I just enjoyed myself. I planted out some vegetables. I was up in the um, jewel garden and just um, weeding and planting and pruning. It was just a beautiful day uh, for me yesterday. I really, really enjoyed it. It was good. Um, and today was good too. I had to do some, I was out and about and it was really, really good. Pretty. The gardens of me. I'm growing straw flowers, Lithiansis, Calendrium, Bells of Ireland that receded themselves and snapdragons, of course. Oh, good for you. Good for you, um, Beverly. <clears throat> some of my um, some of my plants reseeded also, like uh, my Cosmos from last year. And you know, this today I saw a California poppy that had grown last year in my wildflower cut garden. Um, it was there in that garden. I saw it uh, today. It was so cute. I said, oh, look at this. <laughs> and... Um, you know, some of the, that's some of the good things about um, these, um, these flowers that they reseed themselves. So you don't have to work so hard. You just add to it and make it happen. Hey, Yami, how are you? Wow. Yeah, it's, it's been good so far. <clears throat> I hope that the rest of you are getting out too as well and enjoying your garden. Oh, Miss Catherine, I found a white flower plant that I fell in love with. It's white with a hint of pink. I think it's called Bride Blossom. All right, Deborah. Yeah, because last week you told us you didn't like white flowers. Well, I'm glad that you found something that you like. Hello, G Mama. It grows again. Hello, everyone. We did miss you. G Mama grows. Where have you been? We really have missed you. That's why I saw that and I decided to um, showcase you. Just to let you know that we are still thinking about you. Uh, Monica says, hi. G Mama's, G -mama's uh, battling with hanging in here. G Mama grows, battling mad, but hanging in here. Monica, I hope all is well. Hello, Catherine and Garden family. I just moved to Texas today and I'll be listening in today. Sonia, you moved to Texas? You gave up California. What happened? What happened? You want to do? You want some different type of heat? <laughs> well, I hope you found a pleasant spot in Texas, and I hope that it's not too hot for you. And I hope that all goes well for you. I hope that you find the peace. You know, I was just talking to someone today. I think on my other channel, we were talking about location. That sometimes. Um, we need to <clears throat> change our location because there's a different plan for our lives. And <clears throat> with it comes changes and adjustments. And especially if you're a gardener and you're going into a new location, you're moving and you have to rediscover your garden. So in the natural, so in the spiritual, so in the everyday living, you know, anytime you readjust. But the good thing about moving Yes, you move for your peace, but this the good thing about moving, the moving location brings you a chance for new life, you know, especially if you have God on your side. With God, he, if God is leading you and giving you, you, giving you direction and giving you new opportunities, 
uh, to serve and to bless others, um, it can be just a wonderful, wonderful thing. Because um, that, that has been running through my mind too. That has been running through my mind. Location, location, location. Where are you? Where are you in your mindset? Where are you in your emotions? Where are you um, in, in location? And you know, even finding a new job, a new something. You know, what can you do different to bring um, goodness into your life? And gardening does that for us. That's what, that's the good thing about um, each season in your life. In the, the spring season, it gives you an opportunity to change things around, to decide uh, the location, what is best for your plants, what is best for your, you know, growing conditions. You don't have to do the same thing every single year. No, you get to do a new thing. And I feel strongly that this is the season of a new thing. And it could be in anything in your life, anything. And, you know, sometimes situations happen in our lives that, um, that just, that just kind of um, keep us down. But you got to break free, break free. And, and just like how, um, like Monica, you're creating a, a brand new garden. That is, uh, you're setting up a new location. You're creating a new change in your habitat. I'm sorry, I'm, in, I'm into the spiritual right now. I, I know I'm supposed to be talking about gardening, but <laughs> I guess <laughs> you're moving into the gardening of your soul. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> find the peace, find the joy. Find the peace, find the joy. Hallelujah. And sometimes you just got to, you know, change the environment. Location. Location. Yes, yes, yes. All right, that's the end of that. <clears throat> um, yes. See what you caused, Sonia? Caused me to start to preach. <laughs> Battling my ha hanging in there here Monica um, hello Catherine okay I I almost got some coral bells yeah yeah you know it's good even to add something new just to shift things in your life um, God and Sammy so you had me watching your past videos and checking any updates on comments for you okay G mama sending many prayers your way oh I hope Sonia um, G mama's um, Hi, Sonia. Hi, Sonia. I truly appreciate your concern. Thanks. Wow, that's good. Oh, I hope, yes. I don't know what has happened, G Mama, but we were, de I was definitely thinking about you. You were on my mind. Peace, says Yami. G Mama, I just found some bulbs were sprouting, so I potted them up. Mostly flowers. I'll have to store them better for next season. Oh, that's good. Hi, Yami. Hi, Yami. Hi, Yami. Yes. I move, I move for my peace. Yes, girl. Hi, Yemi. Uh, Sonia, guard, uh, good for you, Sonia. Blessing, says Beverly. That's what's needed in these days. Peace. Yes, peace. <laughs> Way to go, Sonia. Peace. Peace. That's why, um, you know, that's why I garden. Because it just helps you to stay. To, to just come away from the things that concern us, you know, the heaviness of life sometimes. You just have to come away. You're speaking truth, Miss Catherine. Thank you. Yes, every morning early, I'm in my garden. Yeah, and there's something about that. Excuse me. It's something about getting that peace and going into the garden. And um, one of the things that the garden offers you is creativity a chance to create and definitely creating with your annuals and making beauty around you making your environment beautiful that's something that we have control over you know to an extent because you can choose what annuals you want to add to your garden and annuals are, are plants that give continually annuals is something that when you put it in in the ground and you water it and you fertilize it that it, it will bloom and especially 
uh, the sun heat loving plant, um, plants. Oh, gardens of me. I'm taking two days off this week just to be in my garden. Wow. <laughs> That's vacation. Six likes. Who forgot to hit that like button? Yes, you tell them, <laughs> G Mama. <laughs> Monica, I love being, I love being out early before my day gets busy. Yes, and now that the day, the morning, um, breaks early, like around six o'clock or so, um, I'm outside in the garden. It is, it is just a wonderful thing. And then, um, because I, I see so many things blooming, and I've decided that. Um, since I've gotten this, I got a, I updated my phone. So since I have an updated phone, it's easier and bigger to manipulate, and I'm able then to um, send out pictures and things. Um, I've been actually adding more pictures to Instagram, Facebook, and also here to you due to the community page and to do more shorts um, and in quick videos of what's happening because things are just changing so quickly yes Deborah, 6 a.m. with a cup of coffee yes and it is also a great time to meditate you know pull out um, some word also if you are a believer make sure that you take the time also to uh, to pull out some scripture, some word, or something positive, positive affirmation, if you want to do that. And just meditate on those words as you're working to truth. Yes, Yami, as you're meditating through the garden, because it will just settle you. So no matter what comes your way uh, later on in the day, you've already started off on a good foundation. I find that when I... Um, turn on my phone you know pick up my phone because usually I check the weather and I see all kinds of other news it it's unsettles my peace it, it does me uh, wrong because then I get so distracted um, throughout the day yes Monica that's how I start my day says Deborah a D mom said I haven't seen any bees sleeping this season I'm usually outside early enough to catch one Wow I've never seen a sleeping bee my bees are always buzzing around Debbie says, I fight for my peace. If it starts to drain me, I walk away. If I can, I also learn that no is a complete sentence. <laughs> well, we got words of wisdom today. Oh, all right. All right, create your atmosphere. And part of your atmosphere of creating peace is to <clears throat> set your garden up with, a be with beautiful annuals. <laughs> Monica says, uh, yes, Deborah. No, no, no. <laughs> you, guys, you guys are good for yourself. <laughs> no is a complete sentence. No, no, no. Let me get back to my garden. Yeah, and stay hydrated, people. Stay. This is a good one today. I'm going to have to watch this one back myself and get some chuckles. And that's another thing. Laugh. Laughter is so good. So when you all come and join me here at Catherine's Garden Home, that's my intention is to have some joy and to give my joy away. Share it with you. It, it's no fun being in the garden by yourself or experiencing the garden by yourself. No, find your tribe, find the people, find your community, and just plug in and check each other out and spend some time together. That's why I love these coming together sessions because we talk garden, but we also have a chance to sit back and relax and just um, calm our, ourselves, go into a place of, of peace and a safe place. And Deborah spoke the truth. Yes, she did, Monica. <laughs> She gave some serious words of wisdom. Yes. Anyway, um, some more of the <clears throat> flowers. Let's see. Um, some catching annuals. Eye catching annuals. New plants for 2023. Um, 
um, proven winners ha has become so popular this year these these annuals for 2022 so they are now available here and here are some of them here's one um, it's called floss flower floss flower let me show you this is called floss flower and that's a, a proven winner plant that's why it's something different a white um, Deborah that you might be interested in. Um, proven winners plants are, are kind of costly, but um, they are, but they are um, designed um, to really last and to come through. They, they are, they were formed to, isn't that a beautiful arrangement with the white, and the floss flower? I like that, I like that combo. Right now, this is how my garden looks, purple. Purple and white seems to be the colors of my garden at this point. Um, let me see if I can. Um, they have angel face, super bells, super bells. Wow, I seem to be picking this a lot. Um, Yes, I want that Vista bubble gum. Yeah, look at this, super bells. So my husband bought um, some two, two, he picked up two um, plants of the proven winners. Lemon, oh boy, I can't remember the name of it, but it's lemon something. And it is beautiful. I found a new white flower called Candy Tuff. Yeah, Candy Tuff is beautiful, G Mama. It has nothing to do with sugar, but I like the the pretty white flowers. Yes, yeah, Candy Tuff is a per, is a sort of perennial um, or annual. They have it in two forms, I believe. Okay, back to gardening. I'm still looking for different mint flavors. Yeah, there are. Um, well, you know, Beverly is the queen of mints here. And Beverly, my, th my ginger mint came back. I have ginger mint and candy mint. The candy mint did not return. Something happened to that one, but the ginger mint is back and it's blooming, yay! And I have spearmint and I got myself some uh, pineapple mint. And I did show you on the, the, pa the um, thumbnail that you saw, that was my propagated spearmint remember my herbal the herbal um the herbal planter that i put together there well i have spearmint and i took some cuttings of the spearmint put it in water and your apple mint returned yes i have apple mint also uh beverly and i put it in water and i was able to start i'm starting two new pots of of plants of mint and what i'm going to do is allow that to grow now it's going to take a while for it to grow but by that time i it will be big enough for me to put in the garden in a certain location in the garden and i'll be able to have it orange mint too yeah my orange mint did not return i had orange mint in the past i had a lot of it but for some reason it has not returned back as it as it has in the past um, and I really haven't seen it too. I've been, um, but things have been slow. I don't know about you, but here, um, in our area, because of the cold weather, yes, yeah, spearmint is so good. And my lemon balm, my lemon balm is just, it's just spread. I don't know if you watched my last video, my gardening tour video. Of the lemon balm it's so beautiful and when you brush up against it as you're I'm walking through that to get into the kitchen area the lemon balm it just smells so good and it, it's beautiful as a tea um, just just a beautiful scent and um, what else I know we're talking about a lot of different flowers but it's just a really good thing um, to to think about this on what you wanted my lemon balm didn't come back oh i wish i could give you some. i got so much lemon balm here 
it, for me, it just recedes. It really loves the spot. I think when a plant loves the spot, that it tends to just come back on its own. You know, it's just like the ground is ready for it. <coughs> Sorry about that. For some reason, <clears throat> the ear is very dry here. Anyway, um... So the new annuals for 2023, um, the Surefire Shural Cordial Begonia. Now, begonias um, have been just a very common sort of uh, annual, but I went into town today and there I saw so many begonias. I have peppermint and spearmint. Mm. Yes, so many begonia plants. And it seems like the proven winners, begonias, that they have uh, really taken o over. Um, that many people have been talking about those begonias. And um, I remember garden attics. I had planted begonias, the old fashioned garden bed begonias. And she says, Oh, I don't know if I really like begonias in one of her. her uh, videos excuse me but now she just seems to love begonias I mean people are just getting into the begonias because they're getting really large and full and bushy especially the proven winner winners begonias but I still buy the old-fashioned ones because they they get big too as well but I I do I've always loved them I think that they in, if they're planted in the right spot that they would come and they'll grow big and look, uh, really stand out um, during the hot days of summer. Yeah. So uh, think about begonias and the super bells. <clears throat> I think, Monica, you mentioned super bells. Yeah, look at this one. Super bells, pr um, pink lemonade. Now that's a, that seems to be very popular this year. I like them. I like these colors. You could tell I like that color. Do you like this? Anyone? Yes. I I think that's beautiful. <clears throat> I definitely add some some color excitement nice yeah betty johnson hey betty johnson are you in the house i've just i'm just keep going on and on and on. i didn't stop to check what everybody's saying here hi betty how are you my lemon bomb is a thug yes it is lemon bomb is a thug but it's a good thug it's a good thug <laughs> i have peppermint and spearmint Nice, not me. Yes. What not you, Monica? You don't like that one? I thought you said you like super bells. Do you like lemon um petunias? <clears throat> They're the yellow petunias. Let's see what else. So what else are you all adding to your garden? Let me know. And how are you how is your garden growing? Are you getting the, the regular um, annuals? Are you planting any cosmos? And I pulled out our cut flower garden book again. And she has been offering Floret Erin uh, of Floret Farms. She has been offering a lot of workshops and different things. And if you don't follow her on um, Instagram, I would recommend that you follow her. She's really interesting and I love her flower farm that she's put together she also is on i think disney plus as well i don't have disney plus but um if you do you might want to check out her her story and her show she said she has a new show on but um last year we did talk about that cosmos i found that my cosmos have been coming back on their own but i also planted some cosmos seeds too from the dollar tree so I'm looking forward to, to having Cosmos again this year in my garden as an annual. 
and the cosmos it just adds such an eerie look it's it's um just really uh adds a a sort of um cottagey appear appearance and i really like like that <clears throat> Yeah, but so now is the time to get your flowers in. I love that plant. I had some that returned last year. Yes, my bee bomb has come back like a beast. <clears throat> I got a new Jostaberry this season. It's just leafing out. Why? Wow, good. Your bee bomb is doing well. Good, good, good. Um, my, <clears throat> I have bee bomb in the garden as well. Um, but for this, for some time, for some reason this year. Then it's not as prolific as it has been in the past, but it's enough. I think it's enough. It's coming back and it will add some good color to the garden. Yeah, I don't know about that plant either too. I I have begonia, uh, bulbs, cannas, and dahlias to plant. Yes. Yes. <clears throat> my um my cannas are right here. You see in the container, I have cannas and my elephant ear. I've already potted them up and they're starting to show some life, which is really good. They're starting to show up. It is getting dark. I think we're really going to get the rain. It's 6.01. The forecasters, the weather forecasters, I think they're telling the truth this time. It does look like rain's going to come. The clouds are dark. Yay for rain. Rain come. I think I need to do a dance, a rain dance. <laughs> you know, this year I decided that I was not going to grow dahlias. So this year I didn't put out any dahlias at all. Zip, zero, nada. I think that um, for some reason it just seems like a lot of work um, for me and I just decided that I wasn't going to bother with that but instead I um, I planted a lot of zinnias a lot of zinnia seeds and um, I planted the zinnia Betty I finally found some hosta plants for my garden that's good Deborah that's good Yeah, G Mama says she has a Josta Berry this season and it's just leafing out. Josta Berry. Let me look that up. G Mama, you are such a teacher. You're introducing us to new stuff. I am so happy about that. Um just a berry. Just a berry bush. Jostaberry. I'm trying to see if I can get a picture of it for you. Uh, um, let's see. Wickerberry. Wickerberry. Wicker. Oh, taxonomy. Jostaberry is a complex cross fruit bush in the genus Ribes, involving three original species, the black currant. Okay, so this is the picture of it. This is the Jostaberry. It's a fruit. Hello, Dama, Yankee Sister Homestead. We have a celebrity in the midst. <laughs> she was interviewed uh, if you saw my um, the community page uh, Thalma Yankee sister sh she's been get making the rounds the rain ran me in the house hello Catherine and chat that's good I'm glad it, it, it chased you in so that you could come and say hello to us I, I did one dahlia cactus flower blend oh that's nice Monica yeah, battle sister. Yay! She's famous. Yeah. <clears throat> Thelma got into into got uh, interviewed by one of the leading gardening people on YouTube. 
Yes, she got to show off her beautiful garden. And I am so proud of her. Um, from stepping out, not in being sure, to growing her YouTube channel. What a woman. She's just been awesome. And um, I'm just really proud of proud of you. Jasta Berry is a cross of black currants and gooseberries. Yes. You know, and that is good that you're, you're introducing us to these um, different... Gardner Scott. Yes. Wonderful man. Thank you. I was trying to remember his name. Yeah, Gardner Scott. So um, I, I kind of popped over to his channel there, his channel page to see who he was. And I said, wow, that is an honorable thing. And uh, that's really good that you're, you're really expanding your territory and that the blessings are coming your way. And I hope that this really grows your channel, that more people will find it and that your channel will grow. And that you'll be able to share a lot of that joy that you have. Um, um, Yankee sister, yes. Yes, what a joy. I'm subscribed to Gardner Scott. I'll have to check it out. Yeah, so now, um, Thelma, did you, you interviewed with him. He interviewed you, right? Um, so we just need to know what, the, um, just give us some more, inf continue to inform us so that I can share it with the community on the community tab so that we can go all go over and give you a shout out. Yeah, so um, that's really, really good. You know, that makes me happy. To know I missed that interview now I don't know if it has been Thelma has it already shown or has he already put it out on the YouTube channel was it part of the live or was it um, just a beginning he will be posting a video I don't know when okay there you go yeah so let us know when he posts the video so that we can go over and watch you and and leave a good comment concerning what you have to share yeah so that's really good. It's always good to know that people are, are growing and expanding and um, just moving in, you know, like today. Okay, yeah. So, but she's been doing awesome, though. That's awesome, Thelma. Yeah, I think he has like 354,000 uh, subscribers. So that's, that's a big channel. <laughs> that's a big channel. Mm-hmm. That's really good. And it's a, a wide audience. So I'm really proud of you. Very big, yes. And um, and for him to select you, I think that's honorable. You're an honorable woman. Yes, you are. <laughs> Global. <laughs> Go ahead, girl. <laughs> that's so good. Yeah, so, uh, yeah. So let's, let's continue to support one another and to keep, keep on encouraging one another to garden and know that Catherine's Garden and Home, where we grow, 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 grow together, is a safe place for you to come and get encouragement and um, to continue to uh, grow your channel, grow your growing ability, even if it's as small or if it's large, if it's Darlene Brown, hey, Darlene, yes. How are you, Darlene Brown? If it's large, if you just want a place to garden, to relax, need some encouragement with peace, know that you can come to Catherine's Garden and Home. Yes, and I will give you encouragement and inspiration in the garden because we all need somebody to lean on, right? We all need somebody, yes. And so, um, yeah, we are caring community too. And I like that. And um, I love to see everyone uh, flourish. You know, this is all about flourishing and um, growing together. Body, mind, soul, and spirit in garden. <laughs> it's getting darker. People, it's gonna rain. It's gonna rain, yeah, it's gonna rain. It's gonna rain, it's gonna rain, it's gonna rain. I'm so happy. You know, my garden needs it. It was so dry. I was walking through with my little watering can, just trying. This, this is Catherine's work. <laughs> yeah, you all are my garden. I'm watering you. 
rain. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Rain. Mm -mm. Come on, do a rain dance with me. Rain. A rain song, a rain song. Rain. Rain, rain, rain. And fall on this wonderful garden. We need rain to grow. Yep, 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 yep. Rain, rain, rain. I feel like, um, you know, like the Sesame Street, um, you know, how they have people singing in the middle of it with the kids. <laughs> what are they trying to do? <laughs> That's what they reminded me of. <laughs> are you doing a rain dance with me too? <laughs> rain, rain, rain. Let the rain fall, rain, 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 rain on my garden, rain, 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 let the rain fall, rain, 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 rain on my garden. It's pouring here, it's coming to your neighborhood, yay! <laughs> Thank you, Thelma, send the rain, send it this way. Yes, you know, I have planted a lot of seeds and I put my seedlings in a lot of annuals and things are popping they're growing so we want the rain to come um and it, it would it had rained heavily on oh i felt a drop people i felt a drop it like hit me right here on my hand but that's not enough it got to rain it got to rain it got to rain yes rain 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 on me, rain, 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 rain on my garden, rain, 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 rain on me, rain, 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 rain on my garden. I can't wait. Yes. Um, it rained, let's see, a couple of days back. Was it Sunday? I don't remember. I claim it. Yes. <laughs> Yes, no, I claim it too. Um, it rained a couple of days back. Was it Sunday? Monday? Anyway, one of those days. It was over. And what a difference. I think it was um, Saturday night into Sunday. And it was a good soaker. You know, it was like, it was enough hours because it was all through the night into the early morning. And it, it, it uh, would rain hard that nice good soaking rain and then it was it was just enough rain so that it wouldn't um destroy the plant i feel the drops destroy the the plants but the next day that's why i was able to give that beautiful sunday video so make sure that you watch my garden tours because so many things are happening and when it rains like this it just causes everything to awaken and I have had so much joy. Hello, Rachel, how are you? How are you? I have had so much joy. Oh, I could feel the raindrops. I have had so much joy with, um, with it coming down, with, with um, giving you gardening tours. So look out for the gardening tours because they're coming and especially like after the rain like this you could see the I don't know if you could see the raindrops but the rain is a coming the rain is a coming the rain 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 that means I'm gonna have to go yeah I'm gonna have to go yeah but um so thank you all for coming and joining me thank you for sending the rain over Thelma thank you all for this beautiful time together yeah plant your animal your animals plant your plant your annuals and make sure that you um, enjoy your garden get some peace just add your all the good things the rain is dropping it's falling it's falling it's falling it's falling the rain is falling the rain is coming i'm just trying to shift a little bit the rain is falling isn't that good isn't that great <laughs> hope to be able to plant this weekend god